Welcome to the video by DJS BRC. We have Horizon Hobbies 17 inch power boat racer from Pro Boat. Uh, this 17, it's a self riding deep V RTR. It's not a big boat. Uh, I do have bigger boats, but what's my intention with this guy here is being my recovery boat and at the same time when I'm not using it as a recovery boat I still can have fun with it um, it is an RTR comes with battery charger remote everything you need in the kit I uh, don't think it's required it's double-a batteries Gives you a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of information on the side of the boat. Uh, tells you the size, the hull length. Yes, it's a water cool. It's a dynamite 30 amp brushless marine. It works on a 2s or a 3s. And I don't think my camera wants to focus. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's weird. Uh, like I was saying, it's water cool. It has a 2950 kV eight pole brushless marine outrunner on it. 2.4 megahertz uh, transmitter top speed is 30 miles an hour 488 kilometers for us in Canada it's not really the time to run boats right now for us here and uh, it is dead of winter but I want to be prepared when summer comes back that I'm able to hit the water and have fun with the boats let's open it and let's see what's inside It is the uh, Lucas Oil. It's not the uh, Miss Geico. Because there is two versions. It's written on the side here. A lot of tape. In the physical box that comes with it <clears throat> you have the uh, I call them two-piece remote you put your batteries right here remove this and then you grab it and whoop, don't put it upside down like me insert your trigger then you have your Fancy schmancy remote. Not the greatest remote out there, but it'll do the job. We do have our boat stand. And this is our smart charger that comes with it. I do have a video on this charger. It is the Smart S120 from Spectrum, USB-C, your main out and your balancing port. Now this charger, depending what kind of power you give it, will determine the amount of time it will take to charge your battery up. Uh, I'm not going to use this, basically I have some uh, Spectrum Smart Charger. And they said you needed batteries for the remote. It comes with it. And we have the 1300 smart battery. It's the Gen 1 30C discharge 3S. That's awesome. side now <clears throat> one thing I do suggest do you take the time to read your manual 
even if you do have multiple vehicles or boats, it's always recommended to read your manual. Now we need to split this guy in two. One of the thing, one of the things that attracted me to this boat uh, is the, it looks like a real boat. You have the outboard motor in the back. The only thing I don't like is it's part of the, uh, the, the main drive shaft of the boat. But besides that, I do love that it looks like a real uh, motor. That's one of the, the thing that attracted me to this boat here. Uh, you do have two drivers in it. The uh, water exit. And if you look underneath here, it's smooth. It is a self-riding boat. When you do flip it, it will self-ride itself. And one latch in the back to unscrew to have access to the boat. And you remove the hull, not the hull, the driver, should I say. And we have access to inside of the boat. Battery goes right here. You do have your brushless ESC, your receiver, your servo for your steering, and your outrunner. Uh, this is not an in-runner. In-runner would be like a normal can. And this, this is what they call an outrunner. It's physical motor itself. It spins on, its, spins on itself. Uh, it is a Dynamite 3949, 2100 KV. But I thought it said something else on the box. It says 2950 KV. But <laughs> this is a 2100 KV. Not sure if you can really see it. For some reason, I don't think it's because of the light that's coming in the studio. Um, but 2100 KV would be a perfect uh, for, like I was saying, I want to do a recovery. I just need to do something in front of the boat here uh, that I can attach and easy to detach. What I was thinking, probably what I'm going to do is make something that comes on in front of the boat here that won't prevent anything underneath. We'll be just on the side in the face here. here. Maybe I'll glue some magnets here. Put a couple uh, rare earth magnets. That way when it clips on, it stays on. Because uh, I want to do kind of a, maybe a U shape or a half moon. To be able when I want to grab the boat, let's say it's the boat that's flipped on the side, God knows. I want to be able to grab the boat with it and be able to push it and bring it back to shore. Because sometimes you'll be lucky where you're playing, you might have uh, somebody nearby with a, with a boat, be able to give you a hand, or you could bring your own, if you do have access to a real boat, bring it with you. But now that's more pain than anything else. Sometimes you're just going to be on the side of a, of a stream or something. That's super nice. Let's grab the boat, pop it in and have fun. But in this case, that's one of the reasons I want to create a recovery boat. But besides that, looks nice. We do have weights here on the side. Basically, if it flips, you'll be able just to, to give it a little bit of a jerk. And it should flip itself back up. That's one of the reasons the battery's on this side and there's weights. You can physically see it here, the silver weights in the corner. Uh, just to be able to flip it back up. This is the Pro Boat. This is the Pro Boat Lucas Oil. The 17 inch. And yeah. Can't wait for summer to come back to be able to try this boat, but I will do uh, the modification uh, this winter. And I'll keep you guys updated on that one, how I'm going to do it exactly. 
Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget, hit that like button if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel a lot. If you're watching this, and you're still watching, should I say, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.